um, I'm model Candida Valentina. Um, you can find me on all the social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, basically Candida Valentina official. I can actually trace it back to Barbizon. A lot of people say, oh, Barbizon. Um, it actually went somewhere for me. Uh, I got lucky and I had a teacher who was a promotional model. And I guess she saw something in me and she signed me up to go to um, an IMCA convention, which is the International Model and Talent Association convention in LA. And so I got to go to LA when I was 16, 17. And from there it just kind of took off. I ended up doing lots of promotional deals and um, that's basically where it all started. You don't know what you're going to have to do. Um, like I have a full-time job as well. And I ended up moving from Central Florida to Atlanta because it was a better market. And you kind of have to know that there's risks that you're going to have to be willing to take to be able to pursue in a career that you're interested in. I want to say like one of the funnest shoots that I've been on was a giant shoot uh, for Rat Rod Magazine with Craig Gum Photography. There was about, I want to say 25 of us models that were on set and it was just hectic. We had hair and makeup, uh, we had a giant set with a bus, we had music, we had fire breathers. It was just crazy. We had four Rat Rod cars and it was probably, I had, I want to say that was the funnest shoot that I'd been on just because of how hectic and crazy it was. And my hair was huge and cars were everywhere and I got to yell and cuss out guys. It was great. The modeling is going from this to this. My idols and my heroes are a little strange. Um, it would start with Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn, of course, and of course uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, Princess Di, and then as you get older I ended up falling in love with Lady Gaga, so <laughs> just a little bit out there. Um, but definitely the Marilyn Monroe caught my eye just because she wasn't scared of anything. She was who she was. And Audrey Hepburn just had that glam about her that she just walked with the presence. She was gorgeous, no matter what she did. The joy about being a model, and I've labeled as alternative, but I don't want to label it just as alternative. Um, it's being able to dress up and become these other people. It's kind of like acting, becoming a character, to where I can be, you know, a pinup Betty Page, or I can go and be the girl that's rocking Cotton Gems Urban Wear, um, to where I'm covered in blood and I'm in a bloodbath. It's just the joy of living your art. Um, I call modeling my art. It's what I do. It's how I feel. Like I listen to music and come up with different ideas for photo shoots and I get them all in my head and I'll write them all down and I'll be like, you know what, this photography would be, a photographer would be great for it or this photographer would be great for it. And we just kind of mash up ideas and that's how it starts. And you never know what you're going to get out of it. You can get a publication, you can get noticed by somebody else, it can go viral. It's just a matter of time. The last year has been uh, hectic and crazy, um, but believe it or not, uh, in the last year I've managed to get published seven times um, in the works of Alternative Beauty, Jessapina, um, Sanctuary Magazine, twice. Wicked Women magazine, of course with Artist Life Vision, just throwing that out there. And then Twisted Edge, one more that we're waiting on, which is one of my favorites. It's um, Gorgeous Freaks Mag, uh, it was just published yesterday and it features Rob Zombie on the cover with an interview. I'm excited! When it comes to pursuing a modeling career, it's not just being a Victoria's Secret model on a catalog or, you know, posing for Calvin Klein in a magazine that we see. Um, a lot of people don't realize what goes into pursuing to become a model and like I said don't be in it for the fame and glory don't be in it for the money be in it because you love it know that you are basically a starving artist um, you're you're putting all of your love and effort into something there's going to be lots of sacrifices that you have to make um, things that you miss because you're going to an event or just you lose sleep um, it's just it's kind of it's, it's an artist struggle it's the grind that we all go through and it's in the end it's completely worth it because as I've been published seven times this year and I now know why I'm tired. It's, it's that kind of thing, but it's a reward for you at the end. When you see the final product, when you see the images, even though it took you 14 hours to set everything up and take the photos and everything else and the makeup and the hair and sometimes it's not everybody doing your hair and makeup. You have to do it yourself. You learn to do new things, you learn to do new trades and you grow as a person and um, like I said, 
for the love of it. Love what you do. And that's why I love Atlanta so much because it's everybody loves what they do. It's just, I call it Art Atlanta, if you will. Being a model in Atlanta has opened doors. Um, I've met really cool people, uh, great photographers. I've even, um, just fellow models have been fantastic. Uh, meeting Ashley Skelly from Art to Life has opened doors for me. Um, as long as we work on the same projects and you don't know who you're going to meet. And our group is very big, but it's small. And so we kind of all know each other and help each other out. It's just kind of like a, a network of like sisterhood, brotherhood type stuff. We all help each other. Coming from a very small town in Florida, um, there's not really much there uh, art-wise. You'd have to branch out. Um, my closest market, of course, was Orlando, and then you can even go to Tampa and Ybor. Um, but even then, it was a very small group of people that you could work with. So there was no broadening of horizons or that kind of stuff. You just kind of worked with your group, and that was basically it. Um, I came to Atlanta because there's a vast variety of people and um, I loved it. I came out here, I first moved, uh, when I came out here to visit, I worked with Craig Gum, who's out in Athens, and he had talked me into moving here. Um, took some convincing, I eventually took on it and came up here, and so my goal was just to work with Craig. And I ended up working with um, a couple other people through Model Mayhem and ended up getting invited to groups on Facebook. And it's just amazing how it all kind of rolls. It's just something has got to get the ball rolling and then it's like a complete snowball effect. And it's just kind of taken me by storm. And I've, I want to say that I've broadened my horizons being here and I've expanded more in my work ethic and things have just been great. Just, you just got to take the leap. It's a leap of faith. For the aspiring models, um, the advice that I can give is give it your all. Don't give up you are going to have a lot of naysayers you just gotta fight through it stick with people who support you like have your support group and stick with them um, that's one way you're gonna get through it um, stand your ground uh, a lot of uh, us aspiring models come across people who are very pushy they're going to want you to do things that you don't want to do um, just whatever you're comfortable with stick with it and stand your ground don't let anybody force you to do something you don't want to do um, know that you're going to have to take risks, chances, put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to market yourself. Um, just know that it's not easy. If you're in it for the fame or the glory, it's not, it's not worth it. Um, money, don't be in it for the money. Do it because you love it. Um, I'm in it because, as I said before, it's my art. I look at it that way. That's the way that I treat it. Um, I'm not in it to make a quick buck. but it's what we do. It's who we are. It's love. Every, any artist knows that you strive for what you love. Know who you're working with. If you don't feel comfortable or something seems a little uneasy, back away. Just don't do it. Um, research. Ask for references. Uh, when I moved to Atlanta, I knew Craig Gum. That was it. And from then, I have got added to a few groups, looked on some different casting calls, asked for references. I've even went as far as Googling somebody that I was working with uh, to see if they had a record or anything popped up under their name. Um, it's basically be safe for yourself. Um, don't just go to a shoot not knowing what you're getting into. Um, escorts. I push the escort policy a lot, especially if it's my first time working with you. Um, say, can I bring an escort? Even if they're, like, if they're weary about men on set, bring a female. It's um, just a matter of taking care of yourself and knowing that you're safe in doing so. Working on the, the Rat Rod shoot that I told you about before, I ended up meeting Ashley Skelly, who is one of the co-owners of Art to Life in Atlanta, and they're huge, and I absolutely love them. Um, they come up with different shows, and they metal grind, and I'm basically just one of their go-go dancers. Yay! But um, if you're ever in Atlanta, come check them out. When it comes to modeling, um, I said before that I started early at a young age. I did take a hiatus um, for a bit to have my son, and thankfully my wife has pushed me through this. Um, she got me back in front of a camera, and that's where it kind of just, it rolled, the snowball effect. Um, so without her, I probably wouldn't be sitting here doing this right now. Um, the fact that um, I have now been part of the alternative model directory, uh, we call it our TAMD family. 
for a while now. Um, Ashley, who's our director, I absolutely love her, and she's she's been there. We have a little family support group, which has led into Tattoo Takeover. Um, our um, director is out of Augusta, and her name is Meredith, and she's fantastic. It's led into Merciless Models. It's led into Trash Dolls, which I was the second um, U.S. doll accepted into Trash Dolls, and they're based out of Australia. Um, just meeting all of these people, and it's kind of pushed my career. It's helped do different things. It's helped the publications. Um, the outfit that I'm wearing now is by Wild Lolita. It's with Brittany and her friend, and they design all of this. They hand make it all. Um, and I love getting beautiful dresses from it. It's just the group that you meet, it's just doors that constantly open and evolve. And they say if one door shuts, another door opens. But in this case, the more you push yourself, there is no door that's closed to you. Thanks to Artist Life Vision for having me out and for being fucking awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. Hashtag Atlanta. Go like, follow, go do it now. I'm watching you.